Hello everyone, so in this video we are going to learn about the basic principles of differential equations. Basically what we're going to do is to define what uh, differential equation is and at the end of this video we will be able to classify uh, different differential equations. So let us start by the description or the definition of a de uh, differential equation. So what is a differential equation? It is an equation for a function that relates the values of the function to its derivatives. That is the definition by Jeffrey Chasnov. Another definition by Zill and Cullen is that a def differential equation is an equation with containing derivatives of one or more dependent variables with respect to one or more independent variables. By Paul Dawkins, a differential equation is any equation which contains derivatives, either partial or either ordinary or partial derivatives. So to summarize all of these, a differential equation is an equation which relates a function to one or more of its derivatives, whether the given derivative is a partial derivative or um, an ordinary derivative. So in dealing with these different types of equations, we encounter uh, we or we use uh, several notations for the derivative. So we have examples here of different differential equations using different notations. So for the first one, we have dy dx equals cosine x. Number two, that's y, prime, y double prime plus 4y prime and 6y plus 2 equals 0. 2y triple prime, y prime, plus e to the power of x, y double prime, is equal to the quantity of x plus 1, y squared. Okay, that's the partial of u with respect to t is equal to h squared times the quantity of the second partial of u with respect to x plus the second partial of u with respect to y. Another one, we have y, second derivative of y with respect to x plus uh, the derivative of y with respect to x raised to the power of 3 plus 2 equals 0. And then we have r y double prime is equal to the quantity of y prime squared plus 1 raised to the power of 3 halves. So all of these, they have different notations for the derivative. And then we have a partial here. And these are all examples of differential equations. And we encounter here two different types of variables. So in any of these equations, we have two different types of variables. We have the dependent variable and the independent variable. And it's very easy for us to identify uh, the dependent from the independent variable. So a dependent variable is the variable that is being differentiated. And the independent variable is the variable with respect to which differentiation is performed. It's the variable of differentiation. So again, the dependent variable is the variable being differentiated, and the independent variable is the variable of differentiation. So for example, in this example, this dE dy dx equals cosine x. So the variable that is being differentiated is the variable y. So it's the unknown function. It's the dependent variable. We differentiate y with respect to which variable. So the variable of differentiation is x, that is the independent variable. Another example, we have dx or the derivative of x with respect to t plus the derivative of y with respect to t is equal to 2x plus y. So we have here two variables, two dependent variables the variables that are being differentiated and we have here a single depend independent variable or that's our variable of differentiation. So we can classify differential equations in three ways. So the first one is by the type of DE and there are two types of differential equations. The first one is the ordinary differential equation or ODE. An ODE is a differential equation containing only derivatives of one or more dependent variables with respect to a single 
single independent variable. So for example, okay, that's dy dx plus 5y equals e to the power of x. We have the dependent variable y and the single independent variable x. We have here the second derivative of y with respect to x plus the derivative of y with respect to x plus 6y equals 0. So we have here the dependent variable y and the independent variable x. Third one, we have the, this is the fourth derivative of x with respect to t plus the plus 5, second derivative of x with respect to t plus 3x equals sine t. So again, we have a single dependent variable x and a single independent variable t. But what we are looking at in an ordinary DE is that it only has a single independent variable. So here we have a single dependent variable y and then we have a single independent variable x. Another example, we have single dependent variable y and the second single independent variable x. That's still an ordinary DE. This one, we have single dependent variable x and single independent variable t. Those are the three numbers earlier. And then we have a partial differential equation, the second type of DE or PDE. So a differential equation containing partial derivatives of one or more dependent variables, this time with respect to two or more independent variables. So earlier in the ordinary differential equation, we only have one independent variable, but this time in the partial differential equation, we can have two or more independent variables. <clears throat> so these are some examples of partial differential equations. So here, we have a single independent, I mean single dependent variable u, but we have two independent variables x and y. Here we have a single dependent variable u, and we have two independent variables x and t. Third example, we have two dependent variables u and v, and we have two independent variables x and y. So it's very easy for us to be able to identify um, partial differential equations because it uses the this notation for partial differentiation, right? And then we can classify uh, differential equations by their order. So the order of a differential equation, either it is ordinary DE or partial DE, is the highest derivative in the equation. So all you need to do is if you're given a differential equation to be able to identify its order, you only need to find the highest derivative. So for example here, the second deriv derivative of y with respect to x plus 5 dy dx raised to the power of 3 minus 4y equals e to the power of x, we can see that the highest derivative is this, right? And that's the second derivative. And so we can say that this di differential equation is a second order ordinary differential equation, or it's a second order differential equation. Okay, another one. We have here the third derivative of y with respect to x raised to the power of 2 plus 5 second derivative of y with respect to x raised to the power of 3 minus 4xy. So what is the highest derivative in this DE? It is 3. And so we can say that the order of this differential equation is third. So this is a third order differential equation or to be more specific, it is a third order ordinary differential equation. And then we can classify a DE according to its degree. So the degree of a differential equation is the degree to which the highest order derivative is raised after the equation has been cleared off of fractional exponents. So we have to be looking at this. We have to eliminate the fractional exponents first before declaring the, the degree of the differential equation. And that would be, again, the exponent of the highest derivative in the given differential equation. So for example, for this DE, the highest derivative is 2, right? 
So the highest derivative is 2. And so the, the exponent of this uh, derivative, because there are no fractional exponents here, it is raised to the power of 1. So the exponent is 1, so we can say that the degree of this BE is first degree. So we have here 1 uh, dependent variable Y. The independent variable is X. We only have also 1. So we can classify this as an ordinary differential equation. Its order is second. So this is second order because the highest derivative is 2. And that derivative is raised to the power of 1. So it's first degree. So it's a second order, first degree, ordinary differential equation. Okay. Another one. So the highest order derivative in this example is 3. And this derivative is being raised to the power of 2. The exponent is 2. Therefore, the degree of this differential equation is second. So second degree differential equation. So we have one dependent variable y, one independent variable x. So one independent variable that's an ordinary differential equation. So to be more specific, this is a third order because the highest derivative is 3. That's a third order, second degree ordinary differential equation. Okay, so another example, we have Ry double prime equals the quantity of y prime squared plus 1 raised to the power of 3 halves. So if we see fractional exponents, we have to eliminate these um, fractions first by raising both sides of the equation to the denominator of the fractional exponent. So the denominator is 2 here, so we raise both sides to the power of 2. And then, after raising this to the power of 2, we get r squared, y double prime squared, equals the quantity of y prime squared plus 1 raised to the power of 3. So there are no more fractional exponents, then it would now be easy for us to determine the degree of this de. So the highest order derivative is 2. That's y double prime. And the exponent of this derivative is also 2. So this is an ordinary differential equation. Its order is 2 and its degree is 2. So this is a second order, second degree differential equation. And so in the next video, we will be talking about the solution of an ordinary differential equations. I'll see you there.